Welcome to Joystick. I'm John and today I'm going to show you how to set up your OBS before your first stream. If you haven't already, you can download OBS directly from obsproject.com. You can find that link and other information that you'll need on our support site under setting up your stream. Once you have OBS installed, open it. From there, go to File and then Settings. From here, you're going to want to go to Stream and select Custom as your service. For your server and your stream key, you're going to be able to get these directly from the Joystick website under Stream Settings. On the left-hand menu, you're going to want to click Stream Settings. Scroll down until you see Streaming Settings. And here you will find your server URL and your stream key. You're going to want to copy those each. Go back into OBS and paste the values. Once you've done that, go to Output on the OBS menu. Under Output Mode, you're going to want to select Advanced and then select the Streaming tab. For your streaming settings and your encoder settings, you can follow our recommended guidelines on the setting up your stream support page, and that will be located towards the bottom of the page. You can also read more about what each setting does above the recommended guidelines, and then select the best settings on what you feel would work for your computer. Once you've selected the correct settings for you, you can apply the settings and then select OK. You're now set up to stream. The next step is adding the sources that you want to capture for your stream, and I will go over this in another video. The next step in setting up your stream is creating your scenes and adding video and audio sources. This includes game captures, display capture, webcams, microphones, etc. For this tutorial, I'm going to set up a display capture, a microphone, and a webcam. First, I want to add my sources by clicking the plus button in the sources column and then selecting display capture. I can name this whatever I would like then select OK and select the monitor that you would like to use. From there, I'm going to add my microphone, click the plus sign again, and then select Audio Input Capture, naming accordingly. Select your default microphone that you would like to use, and then OK. You can have multiple sources, and all these windows can be resized, so you could select multiple monitors, games, etc. Last thing I want to add is a webcam. That'll be Video Capture Device name accordingly, and then you would select your webcam. And from here you can resize. I won't go too much into that, but you do have free will here, and you really have a lot of options on how you can set up your stream, along with scenes that we do have default on joystick, and I will be getting into those later in the video. And there you have your first scene. The last step to setting up your stream is adding the scene overlays provided by Joystick. To get to this page, you go to More from the main menu and then select Scenes. On this page, you have multiple options and you can customize accordingly. We're going to start with an alert overlay. We're going to copy that by clicking this Click to Copy URL. Then we're going to go back to OBS. Under the Sources, we're going to add a new source and select Browser. You can name whatever you would like. OK. And then for the URL, you're going to paste directly from Joystick. From here, we can send a test to make sure it works. Click Test Follow for the alert overlay to work. Go back here, and you see it says New Follower. We can go back and do the same for the chat overlay. Going back to OBS, adding another source, selecting Browser again, name accordingly, and then Paste. And then we can move this. We can test the message, go back here, hello world. So it's really that simple to get your stream set up with scene overlays, and we do have a lot of options and you can customize. So if you do have any questions and you don't understand something in these videos, please let us know by joining our Discord and then posting in the support channel. We appreciate you streaming with Joystick, and we look forward to seeing you online.